Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to talk about lifting saggy jowls. Yes, that's right. I have a wonderful little device and I've actually done a video about it before, but I've used it for maybe a total of four months now and I found some tips and tricks that really make it effective and make it not produce lines, but make it actually lift and firm the face and do it in a nice way that keeps your facial lines smooth. But first, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll go ahead and subscribe and when you click that bell, that gives you notification of my future videos and basically I am entering my second 30 here pretty quickly in a month and my channel is really about looking as good as we can and feeling as good as we can as we get into our second half. Now let's get into this. The device I'm talking about is the Facial Flex and this really surprises me because I had this in my cabinet for probably the last 10 to 15 years. Long ago when it first came out uh, I used it once maybe for a week and lo and behold it didn't produce any results. I don't know why I didn't realize that muscles take a while to firm and so I should have stuck with it. I was starting to get a little bit jowly and I was looking around on YouTube to find other women who'd been able to lift their jowls and I kept coming across this facial flex device as something that many women were using to really keep their skin tight and toned which is an issue we have as we get to be more grown up and here is a look at the little device you kind of squeeze it there it has rubber bands in the middle and it gives you resistance and when you use it it flexes the muscles from about here on down in your face and I've developed a new way to use it where it also gets your neck muscles which I really appreciate so you may wonder why I'm doing a video about this ah. <laughs> So you may wonder why I'm doing a video about this again when I did one maybe six weeks ago. Well, the answer is that I was using this twice a day for two minutes as the facial flex people recommend. And for the first two, two and a half months, I really had good results. In fact, I'll show you that picture again, which was amazing. As you can see in the before picture, my skin just looked kind of saggy and not firm. And as you can see in the after picture, my jowls really firmed up and my chin area looks a lot more defined. It just makes my face look a little more toned. Well, what happened is after using this for two, two and a half months, I started to realize that I was getting more lines down here. And I thought, oh my, I've told my ladies that they should be using this or that at least it works for me to use this. But after two, two and a half months, I'm starting to get lines around here. And I remembered that one of the YouTubers, and I'm going to link the two below that really encouraged me to start using the Facial Flex again. But one of them mentioned that she used it for two or three months and then she didn't use it for a couple of months. She backed off on it and then she started again when she felt like her skin was getting less firm. And I remember at the time thinking, why would she go ahead and use it for a while, get good results, and then why would she back off? Well, I realized she probably backed off because the lines started to come in as they were doing on me. So I completely backed off of it for maybe two, three weeks, something like that. And then I realized that my jowls were starting to get a little puffier again and I really wanted to pick it up. So I realized that I wanted to do it in a little different way. Instead of doing it twice a day for two minutes, which is what I had been doing before when I'd ended up getting the lines, I started using this once a day. And then I had a lovely viewer who mentioned that she had used the Facial Flex for years and that it really helped her and that she had a certain way of doing the facial flex that not only got the jowls but it also exercised the neck muscles and we can get saggy jowls but also saggy neck muscles as we get to be a little more grown up and I really appreciated that she had given me this tip and I'm so sorry I don't remember who she was or I would share that information with you here is how she recommended to do the workouts and this is how I do them now again I just do one two-minute workout a day either in the morning or in the evening so I will show you the workout that I'm now doing. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to put this little device in your mouth with the big tips in and then you squeeze them one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and you do that for 10 minutes. But to get the neck area, you start with your head level and do the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and you do that like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three and you do that for a little while and then you're going to raise your neck and then you're going to do it again and that's going to get these front muscles here one two three one two three one two three one two three I actually do it a little longer than that because the whole workout is two minutes and then you do it again and you're going to look this way and do the exercises and this way and do the exercises and I do them kind of you know I'll do this way and this way and this way and this way it doesn't really matter that you have a specific number of reps on each area but I think it really does help the jowls and the neck when you do it in all the positions so I'll kind of show you the positions one two three one two three one two three and then up one two three 
One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You see it's tightening on it. It's like a drum. One, two, three. 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 And really, it does tighten up all the muscles in your neck. <laughs> I've got lipstick on. Let me, let me make sure it's okay. And what I'm noticing is that it is not only tightening up my jowls, but it is now tightening up my neck, which I really appreciate. And again, it is only a two minute workout. And what I do is I set my cell phone timer for two minutes and go ahead and do the workout. And it hurts by the end of two minutes, ladies. It is not an easy workout because you are really working out these muscles and the clenching and the tightening up of those muscles kind of hurts after two minutes. But just like any muscles, your tummy looks better when you do those sit-ups and your face looks better when you keep those muscles tight and toned as well. So I did want to share this information with you because when I started developing the lines, which I had heard about this device before, some people say that's a reason not to use it. I don't think that's a reason not to use it because I think if you back off to just doing one workout a day, you can avoid getting the lines. And if you start getting the lines, then just back off for, you know, a few days or a week and then start it up again. And again, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. You never know what you're going to find on this channel. I do everything on this channel from looking good to feeling good to the greatest books I've read lately to home decor. I'm even going to be showing you my garden that's coming up here in the spring. I'm so excited for my flowers to come out. And you just click that little bell that's right there to subscribe subscribe. Now I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and today is no exception. I've been using these Life Loves You cards by Louise Hay and let's see what God and the universe has in store for us to think about today. Ooh, that looks good. This looks really good. I am love. I am love. And it has a beautiful picture of a little girl on it. And aren't our kids and grandkids love? There is no greater teacher in life of what love is than when we see our first child being born. And I've heard that's the same thing for grandkids. I don't have any yet, but I'm so excited. I am love. Let's see what it says. Be the presence of love. Let the spirit of love flow through you. Oh, ladies, this is such a wonderful card. And it's something that I work on actively in my second half. You know, something about going through the first half and getting kicked around and making some bad decisions at times and getting repercussions for maybe some of the things that we did that we shouldn't have done, you can start to feel kind of mean and nasty inside and kind of negative. But you know, I don't want to do that in my second half. Time is short, ladies, and we need to fill our life with as much love, acceptance, and positivity as we can. And I think this is so true. If we ask love to come into our hearts, to come into our lives, we can get into the God flow or the universal flow, however you think about that. We can let the spirit of love come into our hearts, come into our minds, come into our bodies, and flow out from us in ever-increasing waves that benefits us and benefits everyone around us. Take care. See you next time.